Welcome back everybody to another video. We are going to jump right into this one. So on my last video that I post, I said I'd go through some of the equipment that is ran on my tank as far as filtration, flow, lighting, that sort of thing. So I figured it'd be a good time to do that because I don't really recall myself ever going through the equipment that I actually run on my tank. So as far as flow goes in my tank, I actually run two MP40s uh, by Ecotech and uh, I have one on the right and one on the left. Now these really give a great flow. I love these pumps and I cannot talk them up enough. As far as the back of my tank, back glass, I run two H2 Pro Cyclones, which are not nearly the cost effective you know, effectiveness of an MP40 or an MP10, but they get the job done for what I want. I run a bare bottom tank right now, so these do not show up from the front glass. You cannot see them. They're hidden behind the rock where they're really low profile and they give a nice broad flow. Now, as far as the lighting goes, I run three Ecotech Marine XR15 Gen 4 Pros. Right here, I normally don't have the auto feeder on that, you know, the bar, uh, the mounting bar, but I was on vacation, so I figured, screw it, I'll leave it there. I also clipped a nice $10 Amazon fan to keep the temperature cool. If it ever gets above 79, that kicks on, and then the heater, you know, will kick on if it's below 78. So as far as the filtration goes underneath my system, it's not very complicated. I have two drains. One is a main drain on the right. You have your middle, which is the return, and you have your left, which is the uh, emergency. Your main drain on my system comes in, goes right into the refugium, goes into the filter sock if I remember to change it. Sometimes I run no filter sock. It's more or less just if I want to polish the water. And you can, you know, you can tell right here that the refugium is not the most clean, but it does its job. Now, as far as the lighting goes on my refugium, um, I run two different lights. One is kind of a DIY, like you see here. It's just red and blue spectrum. The other one, um, is a Reef Bright LED. I'm not really sure. I pretty much just emailed them and asked what they run on their sumps. And uh, they gave me a cost. And uh, yeah, I bought it. And it works absolutely phenomenal. As far as the skimmer goes, I run nothing complicated. I run a very cheap and effective Bubble Magus Curve 7. And as you can see, it really does the job. I don't have a huge bio load in my tank, so that might give them the benefit of the doubt. I don't know, but it's a very simple, simple, simple skimmer to use. So if you're getting into this hobby, definitely, you know, go with something simple. Now on the back right corner of my sump, I do have like a completely open chamber. Sometimes I run filter flaw. Sometimes I run... Um, just a bag of GFO if I need to or carbon and it works out great. Now as far as the return, I run a uh, Ecotech Vectra M1 and I run for the uh, top off, I run the Tunzi uh, Osmolator and that's pretty much it. That's the entire, you know, filtration of my system and it absolutely works great. Now to throw in antics, I mean, everybody wants cool shit, right? I mean, we're techie, if you're a techie dude, but I love just throwing in some LEDs underneath the stand, let them go crazy, and if my daughter is upstairs while I'm doing stuff, then it totally occupies her, so that's good. Now as far as the control board, like I said, I run an MP, uh, sorry, a Vector M1 and two MP40s left and right and I also run the uh, Neptune Apex controller I have the breakout box the uh, leak detection this is something that I kind of made my son myself which is just an you know an oh shit switch and a couple other switches there's plenty of videos on my channel if you want to go check out how to make it 
and what it does feel free to do that this is kind of just a you know control board of the things that i use and a lot of this will be actually changing because believe it or not i'm actually transitioning my tank from upstairs on the second story of my house and i'm moving this downstairs and that is actually going to be happening this weekend so that is going to be pretty freaking crazy anyways so as far as supplementation i run a calcium reactor and uh every once in a while i dose some amino amino acids and uh as you saw right there you have the calcium reactor that comes out actually goes through this wall and we'll go on the other side of this spare bedroom that we have now in the spare bedroom that we have i run the calcium reactor in this little closet and then inside this uh you know cabinet and this is a skims calcium reactor i don't even i don't even know how i got this to be completely honest with you i think it was like on sale for 100 bucks open box and i picked it up the top off is in this closet as well so nothing here really takes away from the other side of the tank the tank is just the tank and the control board nothing that i really need to mess with because once i have the calcium reactor dialed in i don't need to mess with it and that's pretty much my tank going through what i supplement my tank with i use a calcium reactor i use a bashi sump which is the smart series sump and uh, i just go through you know very simple filtration of a refugium a skimmer and um, a return and back on to the tank so if you have any questions or concerns hit me up leave a comment below and like i said i'm moving this tank actually from my second story down stairs in the first part of my house so stay tuned for another video cheers <laughs>